Hi, hello guys. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Again, this is your boy, No Mercy, and welcome back to my channel. So, um, I have actually seen a lot of players uh, stuck at 5.4, 5.5 KCP, and they are not progressing much anymore. So, I am going to show you again my trick how I gain a lot of CP. So as of the moment guys, I am not yet fully equipped for Nin. However, I already have Jin and Jin for this one. Just need to transfer, but I don't have Black Pro yet. So my CP would be around 5,850 or something bit all right so now first things first is that a lot of players do neglect this one and i do not know why so first things first is knowledge so knowledge plays huge important roles in cp hunting or cp boosting so knowledge you need to finish those knowledge that actually gives AP and DP. It uh, gives more opportunity for F2P players to gain more CP. Next one that would be the collection. So collection plays huge important roles in boosting your CP. So finish all your collections and it would actually boost you to 200 plus CP if you fully complete all of it. Yes finish your knowledge and the uh, third one that would be costumes i know this is a little bit difficult for you but it is very very important for you to finish your or upgrade or fuse your outfits so that you could get yellow costumes that would be more likely for you to increase your uh, CP. And the fourth one, that would be gems and crystals. So as you can see, I'm using a lot of attack and defense and defense and defense and most likely defense on all my gears. Because uh, as a giant, I play defensively. So I need high defense rather than high AP. Yet, yeah, so that's it. And... Well, uh, gem or crystals would actually be very, very important since a lot of crystals gives a plus 9, plus 11 for those orange tiers. So this would be very, very essential for you to increase your uh, CP, guys. And the uh, next one, um, well, as an F2P player, you need to <clears throat> have huge crit damage for you to farm easily so how can you increase your crit damage so as you can check here my crit damage is max stats love ahib is max crit chance max so how did i do that to increase my crit damage so first things first that would be here first one i'm not going to have this for uh, ap or dp i'm going for critical damage only sacrifice for now just a bit of cp then the next one that would be lightstone so lightstones actually plays a huge important roles in increasing your crit damage so, all right so that's how i did increase my C, uh, crit damage sorry and of course for my pets actually i'm very lucky since i got uh, critical damage plus 20 percent so that's one of the reason that i actually gain a huge critical damage so again i know it's quite difficult to have pets but just keep on trying until you get a possible percentage of crit damage so a good crit damage that would be at 180 percent that's already good but if you can max it out so try it out and of course light stones actually plays uh huge important roles in increasing your cp so pick those light stones that gives cp as well all right so that's actually very good and very very perfect for you to increase your cp and of course stats or the elemental stats that would be lob and a hib it's very important for those end 
uh, end game stats. <clears throat> Again, uh, for farming, it's really, really good. And for PvP as well. So, Again, guys, uh, try to max out your stats. If you're an F2P player, it's really important. Just neglect those attack damage, movement speed. There's, they are not important. Just focus on those uh, damage stats that could actually make you farm easier or easily. And the next one, that would be the equipment. So, again... Equipment, I know it's quite hard as an F2P to get red gears. However, at this current phase of Black Desert Mobile right now, um, it's really, really easy to get Jin or Ultimate Grunil. So, I do suggest you to have those kinds of equipment already. Yes, equipment, you need to focus more on that. So, Jin... Gen, try to focus on that. It really gives you a huge boost for your CP. And, well, next one that would be enhancements. So, enhancements is very important. So, as the canon patch as I am speaking, enhancements is very, very easy. Unlike before, it's very expensive to buy black stones. But right now, if you can see it in the market, Blackstones actually became more cheaper and way affordable unlike before and especially for this good stone. Imagine from 500 down to 90,000 silvers only. 500,000 to 90. So imagine how easy is it for <coughs> the F2Ps right now. If they did not start at December 11, so it's quite easy. And again, I This is how I actually upgraded my gears to plus 40 and my guild members from before. I just given them one month and they are already at 5k, 5.2k CP right now. Just uh, just by using poor and fair stones. And oh yeah, just don't forget the gear awakening stuff. Uh, you can use 10% but that's for the first awakening and 50% so on and so forth next one <clears throat> accessories so oh boy talking so long actually <coughs> hurts my throat so again next one that would be accessories so for those f2p players having trouble getting orange uh, accessories i do advise you to have the plus three or plus four uh, yellow accessories for now since they kind of give the same amount of CP however the resonance effect is quite different well focus on getting orange accessories since this is 
uh, the end game for now and this patch. And of course, do not buy those black tier accessories or legal accessories. You cannot upgrade them to red accessories. Focus on shadows accessories. When I say shadow accessories, this one, this one. <coughs> oh boy! This one and this one. So again, this is where you should focus more. Next one that would be enchantments. So enchantments focus on CP, main weapon, offhand, armor, accessories, always focus on CP. Yes, CP actually is very important than other things, so always go for CP. Next one is boss lashes, uh, boss runs. Or any kinds of boss rush or boss rush ones. It's very important that you finish all of the boss rushes or do it weekly. So the more you or the the more often you do boss rushes, the more uh, fast for you to grow your CP, and it's actually a very, <coughs> very, very good way for you to progress. And a lot of players actually are very lazy to run boss rushes. That's why they are stuck at those CPs which I had mentioned earlier and yes um, if I did miss something out guys please do comment down below and share your thoughts for my uh, F2P guide alright so that's it for now guys and I hope to uh, see you next time and please like share comment and subscribe bye bye